This video is sponsored by Pixar. And Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the two big ones. <laughs> they, really, they really got behind this project. Thank that you for funding long. my new series. Welcome to my new series called Spill the Tea with Sammy Paul. Today, what are we talking about, Sammy Paul? Spilling tea. No, what are we talking about? Pokemon. Pokemon. So basically, I just wanted to make a series where I just have a friend over and we chat about anything we want mm -hmm. for as long as we want. So I decided to break out the way too used, uh, overused yeah, Pokemon yeah, tea. Got, I should have brought one. Yeah, where's your Pokemon tea? I'm sorry. It's your Pokemon tea. Oh! There, is there, there a tea Pokemon yet, or a coffee, or some type of beverage? They're missing no. out. Wait, is there food Pokemon? Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Ah, oh, the ice cream man. Um, uh, eggs. Or type. Of I mean, food. if you're a if you're, freaking if you're uh, a horrible chicken fetus eater, do you feel like they've run out of ideas? No. No. See, I every, feel like they've always, always been says bad. This. Yeah. Yeah. Like everyone always forgets just how bad Generation One is. Like, cause like I'm sorry if they brought out a Pokemon now that was just a Pokeball with eyes, right? Just electro evolves yeah. into an upside down Pokeball with eyes. People would be like, man, these guys are out of ideas. When were you first introduced to Pokemon at all? Was it the TV show, the card uh, game, okay, the, yeah. the video game? Um, it was, I believe, the card game. Mm, like, really? Uh, yeah, I think the cards were the first memory I have of like people walking around the playground with like. I think I want to say Rattata was like the first one of the first cards I ever saw. Uh, I know, funnily enough, the first card I ever owned was Pikachu, and I okay. didn't. I didn't know that Pikachu was like, because when it was in the time of the cards and especially the games, like Pikachu mm -hmm. wasn't especially a mascot. No, it was just um, the Pokemon. Fun fact, uh, and I'm going to be really nervous to say these in case I'm wrong about any of these, Can but I, I seem to remember. The, f the original mascot for Pokemon was going to be Clefairy. Clefairy? But then they realised, like, they felt... It was pink? It was a bit too effeminate, and they were scared that they'd, like, you know... That make Pokemon the... great again. You know, it wouldn't, <laughs> right, it wouldn't right. work out. <laughs> They're very insecure masculinity. No, they were scared that they'd lose, like, the male market. And so they were, like, Pikachu yellow. They sort of, it's more like an undergrowth kind of color. Gotta, yeah. gotta <laughs> Is this dirty yellow? Um... <laughs> it's Pikachu dirty yellow. Well, that's Josh. <laughs> I was at my cousin's house in Florida, mm -hmm. and he just happened to have this, this Game Boy game called Pokemon Blue. And I was like, right, right. oh, what is this? And I played it, and it was just mm -hmm. so... I immediately got hooked to it. Yeah, I was like, this yeah, is yeah. really fun. Yeah, and I got yeah. stuck in that cave with the Zubats. <laughs> right. And then when Gold and Silver came out, I was like, Mom, I, I need this. And by that time, everyone was yeah, trading yeah. cards at school. Because yeah. I watched the TV, the TV show. Next, so fun. But then I think, yeah, my friend had uh, Red and Blue. Okay. And I played through it a number of times just like at his house. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know, like, we were young and so we'd just start a new game all the time. Oh, and he let me, like, have... Murder you. <laughs> like, I didn't have a Game Boy or anything. Oh, okay, So yeah. just when I went to his house, he'd let me play this account. And I, like, played through most of it just on his game. Mm. And then I bought uh, Yellow when it came out. Yeah. Yellow was, like, pretty Your much first. my first game. Cool. Um, which I remember I played through, and I wasn't even that far into the game. But obviously, I didn't know the game. Well, I sort of knew the game. But because we always used to start a new game again, I never got that far yeah. into it. And I remember I'd got into like the fourth gym leader, like mm -hmm. the grass badge, and like the rainbow badge. Um, and <laughs> um, my cousin played it and she started a new game and saved. And like, oh. even though that's like not that far into the game, as a kid, I was just like, I've dedicated so much yeah, love into my it, Pokemon. Like, what have you done to me? It's depressing. I yeah, think massively. I remember right around the time that Gold and Silver and Crystal had come out, like mm -hmm. a bit after that, they stopped being cool. Oh, really? For me, like where I'm from, uh, first of all, Pokemon cards were banned from the school. Yeah, you couldn't same, trade same. them because like they were people getting in fights over yeah, like same. different trading issues. Uh, and also, it just became something where people were like, oh, you still play Pokemon? That's gay. That's <laughs> oh, no. gay. You can't oh, play no. that. And I was like, what? That so, speaks to the age. Right? And so I just didn't. And right. then I remember I told my brother, I was like, you know those... I think like new two new ones came out called like Ruby and Sapphire. Right, right. I know it's gay, <laughs> but, but what? And we didn't have any money. Like my parents had just divorced we and like had nothing to our name. <laughs> oh, but right, okay. I d I found this one on eBay, which was like a Japanese import, oh, wow. which was in English. Right, uh, right. So they didn't have the really pretty red like crystal. Right, right, right. However, it was so bad. Like the time didn't work because it was obviously like some hack. And so after <laughs> playing up to the seventh gym, uh, the Game Boy had lost battery. Right, and I turned it back on. And it just completely wiped no. it. And I was like, oh, I, I actually, I love this game. It was yeah, almost yeah. like me saying, it's not gay. Yeah. I love it. And yeah. then it was like, slap. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I won't have taught like that in this household. Yeah. <laughs> so then like, I actually bought the game and it just, I loved really it. interesting because I think. It was like the renaissance. For us, like generation three was like still mm -hmm. cool and popular. Generation yeah. two was definitely like the golden era. Oh, and I think most, yeah, way. Um, I think most like 
fans will probably say that Gen Two is Gen like two. their favorite. Like I really it's because do it through Gen One in as well. Yeah, I think it just did yeah, so that well. was the thing exactly, and that was so revolutionary. It was such and a they've never done what? that since exactly. Yeah, you could like, yeah. oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then also and they beat kind of kept it secret. Yeah, I mean, like what an amazing experience. And then, but then what's kind of funny, right, is that like. I think it was about Gen 4 that mm-hmm. it kind of fell out of favour. But I was still really on board with it. Gen 4 is actually... I love the multiplayer of Gen 4. Yeah. Like, uh, I think... What was the underground? Yeah, love I that. Really I really loved, loved the multiplayer yeah, underground. Yeah. Just yeah. like in Ruby, I really loved the secret bases. And it was because the I first my one brother. to, like... It was the first one to do Wi-Fi and stuff. Like, you could... Oh, back, yeah, the yeah. Wi-Fi, the yeah, GPS yeah, yeah. thing? Like, it was fucking cool. Yeah. Um, but I think less people were playing it. And then by the time you got to black and white... I think not only it was a terrible game. Yeah, not only was it really, really bad, didn't like and it. like, I think the storyline was maybe one of its strengths a little bit, but I think the graphically it looked ugly as fuck. Yeah. Like they were trying to push the boundaries. the three D. They were like, look, what a bridge. Right. No, no, but it was yeah, yeah. But Ooh. even then, it was on the same. It was on the same. Um, you know, it was still on the DS. Mm-hmm. You know, not the 3DS. It was just on the DS. It was trying and, like, best. It was trying to be revolutionary without having any new sort of technology, and so. I, I honestly, hand on heart, think that Generation 4 looks so much better than Generation 5. Oh, it, yeah. And what's funny is, like, well, you look at, like, you look at, like, uh, Gen 1 was Game Boy. Mm-hmm. Then it was Game Boy Color. Then it was it was Game always Boy a Advanced, new device. Then yeah. it was DS. Then it was DS again, which is a bit like, hmm, why have you done that? Then it was DS. Light. <laughs> right, right, right. But then that's why I was kind of nervous for Sun and Moon, because I was like... Mm, that it's coming out on the exact same console that X and Y came out. Did you like Sun Moon? I have not personally played it, but I've watched playthroughs. I've played. And up I liked to the, the first, look of it. A lot. I played the entire first island. Mm-hmm. It was the most boring game I've ever played in my life. Yeah. However, I heard from everyone mm-hmm. that's because it's the first island. It right. gets so much better, but. Yeah. It just they treats did away me with like gyms someone who, and stuff, didn't they? Yeah, they did it with gyms. It's more like challenges. So it's like you have to do this yeah. like candy challenge, mm-hmm. American candy challenge. If you do that, you yeah, get yeah. the, the rare you Pokemon. Get the views, uh... You get the views and the Pokemon. Um, but the first island treats you as if not only have you never heard of Pokemon, <laughs> right. but you've never played a single video game. Interesting. Um, okay. You have no control over where you can go. Mm-hmm. And it just felt... I felt like it like depressed because I had this clear path. Right, and every time right. I wanted to go, what's over here? There'd be someone like... Oh no, there's a bull here. Mm, yeah, you can't yeah. go there. Yeah, yeah. And then you'd come back and the bull would just be gone. And you'd be like, yeah, I, I moved it. With every generation, like the competitive aspect of it has become so much more interesting because they've introduced like new more, mechanics and yeah. stuff. I think um, there's too many mechanics nowadays. Now it's like, here's your Z-move X Quattro. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, you can only use it once and it has to be on a Sunday at night. Crap, <laughs> right, right, right. I don't have the right stone. Yeah, right. Pokemon Alola, mm-hmm. it, it's like something that, it's almost like learning a new language because it's like, I know this Pokemon, it's grass. Just connect to the Alola type. Now right, it's right, fire. Right, right. Oh, what? Yeah. I, I always knew Executor's yeah, type, yeah. and now I don't. No, no, it's just confusing. Now it's Dragon? Like, I do have to... So, I don't play the games as much as I used to, but I do really like, like, online emulators for yeah. battles. Part of the reason for that is because, I mean, I know it has become a lot easier to EV and IV train, but, Did like... Did you ever EV train? Yeah, on, on Generation 4, where mm. it was, like, the most tedious, oh, yeah. like, horrible thing. Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the longest time you ever spent trying to get the right Pokemon in terms oh. of IV, EV, or Egg? I don't know, but all I know is that my playtime on Pokemon Diamond mm-hmm. was 500 hours. Holy... Okay. I mean... So, like, a lot. Oh, man. <laughs> um, I think I was in... In heart gold, I mean, gold and silver for me were a long time, mm-hmm. but for heart gold and heart soul silver, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I I think I hatched 73 Togepi Jesus. before I got either a male or a female, because yeah. one of them is really rare. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, at one point, I had to keep Googling, like, is it possible? Is it, right, Are people right. trolling me? Because yeah, I've had yeah. 72 and not one of them has been the right gender. Uh, not that I'm gendering Togepi, but, <laughs> uh, you know, you need a certain one to yeah, mate like with a different Pokemon, because I wanted my stuff. Togepi to have mm-hmm. the para flinch. Yes, right. So I, I did play competitively. I used to check Smogon all the mm-hmm. time. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. How can I beat people? But it's like, what's good about the emulator, at least, is that... Everyone's same playing it field. Means, yeah, it's, it's, it evens the playing field in terms of the amount of life. hours that you want to put in, <laughs> wasting life, yeah. just, like, grinding. Yeah, like, and oh, I can only like, battle these, like, giant groups of Diglett right, if right, I want right. to get defense up. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, what I like is that with emulators, at least, it's like, all right, that side, which is unarguably the most mm-hmm. boring side of it, we're just going to skip past Just the fun that. part. What was really funny was, I mean, the way I'd describe this, and this does make us feel old, is like, nowadays, if you want an answer, it's just on Google. Like, you just go it to does, Google it, and you find it. It's much worse, out. yeah. Well, it's like... It's too easy. 
you know, especially gold, like, it was just, so if difficult. you didn't know how to do something, you just didn't know how to do you it. You had to ask a friend. Right, and like, yeah. well, I remember how did you get past the tree? <laughs> for the longest time, like, and I, in my head, this was like almost like a year's worth of time, though I might be wrong. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know how to get past that tree. Like, for the longest yeah. time. And I remember just one day, someone was like, oh, you get a squirt bottle in Golden Rod City. And I was like, you do what now? And yeah. I remember me and my friend literally had, like, a party. And, like, we both did it at the same Sort-on time. Party. And we were just, like, running through. And it was, like, you've got to understand, like, to me, that felt like discovering an extra door in your bedroom yeah. that leads to a whole, like, corridor with other rooms. And you're was like, it? I've lived here all this time. How did, did I not... not know there was, like, more rooms here? Like, that's what it felt like, honestly. Yeah. And, and it was pretty... I've, you know... That was incredible. Like, and obviously that was frustrating because I never knew that. But like, I don't know, if I, without sounding like wanting to sound like an old man, I suppose. Like, no, I'm the same I way. do miss that. I do miss that kind of I genuine s mystery. I don't Google things anymore. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's like to a point where it's so frustrating mm -hmm. that it makes me dislike the game, yeah. which has only happened once in recent 10 years, okay. which was Uncharted series. Pokemon made you have to have friends. Yeah. Right. And like, if you would socialize on it, you know, you'd be like, oh, what have you got? What have you got? And like, also... You're like, oh, why do you use that Pokemon? I thought, what? It evolves into Gyarados? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and also, I think I was, when we were young kids... No, no, absolutely. I, like, especially when we were young kids, it was like... Mm. I don't know, like, you just didn't have as much time and dis like, your disposal, I almost feel like. Like, it was like, you. I don't know, you'd be, were like, you limited. Allowed, were you allowed to play your Game Boy all the time? Because no, my no. mom said I yeah, could yeah. only do it when we were in the car driving places. Okay, And I was like, but it's a good game, Mom. I don't want to play it just there, because I had only an hour of gaming a day. Mm -hmm. But if we were driving, it would just keep me quiet, you know, playing Pokemon. I saw, sort of, my mom didn't mind, but then also, because it was a Game Boy, mm -hmm. I needed batteries. Uh, so, like, they were very aware of when I was like, can I have some batteries? They'd be like, are you playing, you know, like, that game too, too much. much. Game Boy. Um, batteries. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah. Remember the triple A's? Oh, we're all right. re really hard to get. But then we got rechargeable ones, and that was like, I'd just like, sneak changing. in there and, like, put them in and, like, did sort you, them out. Did you ever get the, um, the giant Cobra Light? Yeah, yeah, literally. Yes, I, I love my cover I had the purple one. Yeah, I had the purple one. it was, one. like, swirled around. It swirled, and then it, and then it came. Yeah, yeah. And my brother had one that, like, fit into the whole system so that it, like, came over. Yeah, yeah. I just remember using it for those long drives when I used to go to my mm. grandma's house in Pennsylvania because it was so dark. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, the screens are all lit. The screen's lit, and, like... You don't know how nice yeah, it is. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it, it, and it is fascinating. It was just a different feel to play those games because it was, like... It genuinely did feel like this mystery and like yeah. you discovered stuff. And I remember this, particularly in Gen 2, there was Ice Cave. Oh, the and like, maze one. Uh, like, I would say probably like six times out of ten, the game would end there for me. Because I'd be like, I just can't get past this bit. Really? Like, I can't, yeah, I don't know why. Like, my brain just couldn't compute how to do the maze. Uh, see, I would just then... do the whole like, okay, that's 100% done. Don't do that. I wrote it down. <laughs> right, I remember right. writing down like, when you go left, right, right left, down. Right, right, Well, so I, for me, I don't know why. Maybe I was just really dumb. But like... I, I just couldn't work it out for the longest time. Who are your favorite starters? Like, what starters did you start with? Charmander will always hold a place in my heart. All right. First kind Charmander of Charmander as well, yeah. Um, Pikachu as well, because literally yeah. Pokemon Yellow was my first one. And the thing that I did like about Pokemon Yellow is you get all three starters during the game. Mm -hmm. Like, they give you each one. So I yeah. kind of have an attachment to each one. I was right. that basic bitch that turned <laughs> up to, like, the Elite Four with, like, a Pikachu, the a starters, Charizard, yeah. a Blastoise, and a Venusaur. Because um, you couldn't avoid, evolve the Pikachu. Yeah. You would refuse... If you tried evolving it. And I think, like, I used, like, a Snorlax and, like, a Lapras. Oh, yeah. Um, but what meant that, that was very weird when I then, in the next generation, had to battle Red. Yeah. Because he literally had the team that yeah. I had, pretty much. Like, um... Except Lapras. Is... I can't remember what my first starter was in Gold, because I totally played a huge amount with uh, the Cyndaquil mm -hmm. evol evolution. Yeah. I played a huge evolution. amount with Totodile evolution for mm -hmm. Alligator. Yeah, yeah. And then also with Meganium, uh, Chikorita. Yeah, yeah. So, I played the game three times mm -hmm. to its fruition, mm -hmm. and I remember my main goal was to have a level 100 Blossom, which I did, right, right. I did get. Spoiler, it was an EV evolution, it was Espeon. Espeon, yeah. okay. So, like, so, what was creepy? Because, granted, Espeon literally wasn't in the original no. game, so kind of fair enough. But, like, other than that, it was the exact same team. And so I remember when I, when I took on Red, I was just like, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> What? Like, also, the music was just know? so like tense. You're like, yeah. I would. I remember exactly where it was. Mm. I was in. This is how dated you know it is. I was in a shopping cart. <laughs> my mom pushing me around a Target. Fun. And I was playing this, and my mom would like try and talk to me. I'm like, mom, this is the most intense moment yeah, of my yeah, video game yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. playing against Red, and he's level like 75 and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I beat it, it was just like, you've done it. Yeah. And I was like, mom, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I well, that was it. the thing. Like, 
it's so easy now, and I go back to this, like, mm. nowadays we think of the game and we know how games are made and we know what the perimeters are yeah. and we know of things like Easter eggs. We just know all of that yeah. stuff. Um, and I think it becomes a lot more, like, functional because of it. And in some ways, like, that's a good thing. But, like, there is something about a kid where, like, and I felt the same with Zelda. Like, it was, like, this world just felt unlimited. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, same it felt, of RuneScape. Like, Right, like it, it was just like Phew. this world is beyond my comprehension. Like it's just this massive thing. It really does feel like you're traveling around the globe. And so when you do come across an island, if I was playing that now, I'd be like, oh, okay, the story wants me to go to this island. Right? Yeah, as opposed Whilst to like at the time, like I felt yeah. like an adventurer who was like, I wonder what will happen if yeah. I just keep swimming down. And then it's like, oh, oh my god, dude, I found an island. Yeah, like and that felt so sincere. And so I remember when my friends told me that he found a cave where you battle, like, you from the past, mm -hmm. like, from the previous yeah. game, I was like, bullshit. Like, I just yeah. didn't believe him. I was just like, that's not true. Nah. Um, like, why would they put that? Yeah, I was like, it just doesn't sound like it should be real. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was just like, nah, I think you're making that up. And then I just did it, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I loved that. Best soundtrack. Which game had the best mm. soundtrack? That is tough. I mean... I, mine's Ruby. I just yeah, really, really love like, yeah, no, yeah. all the different instruments that were involved and the, the mm. music was just so perfect. It's tough because it's like, I don't love, I don't love 8-bit music that much. Like no. I can listen to it, but ultimately it's like, I don't go like, mm, that was so fulfilling. But what was kind of telling for me is I was listening to uh, the reorchestration of the oh, yeah, it was yeah. like There was an unofficial one and an official mm -hmm. one. I secretly kind of preferred the unofficial one, but that was just me. But, um, oh, I don't know, maybe loads of people thought that. But um, I remember listening to Generation 2 mm -hmm. with an orchestra playing it. Now, yeah. obviously, there's nostalgia. Like, yeah. obviously, there is, like, a rose tinting. But I was just like, this is wonderful. Yeah. Like, I was like, this sounds like Ghibli. Like, I was like, you know, like, it was just like... And, and yes, it is just 8-bit in its original form, but hearing it in that context, I was like... It is strong. It's a good melody. It's yeah. good music. Yeah. Uh, but I'll I do. Th I like. That. Honestly, I think music has been something that Pokemon has always been really strong at. Yeah. Like I don't. Even black and white. I'm like, yeah, there are some good songs in there. Like there are. Like yeah. it's like you know. Um, but yeah, I think I think for me, because you love your video game music. I don't do you? love my video. You're game a big. Music. I know that. Of it's you. A big part. We, I think that's one of the first things we ever bonded over was the Advance Wars soundtrack. Oh, the Advance Wars, <laughs> which is really great, isn't it? So good. It's one of the nerdiest. Things. I have all that music on my iPod. Oh, video game music sort of has to be good because you have to hear you it. You have so it over many and over times. and over. <laughs> so like, like it depends on the game. It has to be like yeah. either background music mm -hmm. that's catchy but not oh. too interfering. But Pokemon just did it right. Yeah, I think so. Good job. And like they captured moods so well. Yeah. Like. You listen to and you're on an adventure. It's like you I'm know what that is, you know. Yeah. It's like you hear that music and you're like, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> like I know where I am and like I know what. Like I, I want to smile. Yeah, on my adventure. And the bike music. What's your best Pokemon card that you collected as a kid? And did you have any like issues trading? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, God. I ran into a lot of issues. The th the thing is, I okay. Truth be told. I just kind of went off what looked kind of pretty. You went for cool ones. Yeah, so like I didn't. Often I was like pretty in the dark about like what was a good. Did you play Pokemon it card. actually? With no, like, never, never. No, we just said, oh look at this one. The move yeah, says yeah, sixty, yeah. and it's freaking Charmeleon. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are you gonna do against Charmeleon? I remember someone traded me a like, Ditto, and I was yeah. just like, I was so bummed out by it. Like he was like, I'll give you this one. I was like, okay. And then I saw it. I was like, no, this is lame. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lame. It's just one. a blob. But, like, that's the thing. That's why I get such a nostalgia trip, I think, when I look at Pokemon cards. Because, like, as a kid, the picture itself was the super important thing. So mm. I just did spend hours, like, looking at these photos. So, like, when I was then looking again, it was just like, oh, my God, this is crazy. But, yeah, I don't know. We never got into, like, that many trading problems. What about you? Like, we did in the school. But oh, yeah, we used to get in trouble. And, no, like, yeah, we traded at oh. school. You'd bring, like, some of them and be like, I want your Butterfree. I remember I bought a Butterfree at, like, a library yard mm. sale for $1. Well, my mom bought it for me, and I was so excited because I was like, right, this right. is a third evolution. It's right, good. Right, right. But I used to be so, like, naive to people mm -hmm. trying to get one over on me. And uh, there mm. used to be, like, Burger King nights once a week where you'd go to Burger King on, like, a Wednesday, okay. and it was Pokemon night. Obviously, they yeah. were just trying to make money off Pokemon. Right, right. Uh, and so my mom would take me to Burger King and get, like, a milkshake, and then there'd be loads of kids there all with their cards out, right. and you'd either want to battle them or you'd, like, trade. And mm. this kid convinced me there... That my holographic, like, Jolteon oh, no. was not as good as this Ammonite. 
because the Ammonite has a star in the bottom right as its resistance, which means it's really good. Oh. And I was like, yeah, All but right. this one's shiny. And, and he was yeah. like, believe me. Believe yeah. me. He, was, he was also like older than me. He was like two years old. I was just right. like, believe me, man. I know what I'm talking Dude. about. So I was like, okay. And then I found out I was so, swindled. That was so upsetting. Do you know what's really funny? I had two parallel stories there. I paid one pound for a Venonat card. No, no, no for a Venomoth card. Venomoth, Venomoth, nice. So that's like a weird parallel. And secondly, I was once on a cruise ship to France going from... St. Anne's? Um, yeah. From the UK to France. Mm-hmm. And there was a guy there, there was a kid who had Pokemon cards. And my mum was like, go play with the boy, go make friends. So <clears throat> I like offered to trade and I gave him something quite good and he gave me an Ammonite in return. Oh. So I feel like we've both been swindled by the With same. Were those like the textbook fraud? Like was that Just how they did it? Give him an Ammonite. Give him an Ammonite. They'll great. have it. They'll keep it. At one point we found like someone selling on eBay Charizard and Blastoise thrown in for free for 40 bucks, which is a huge bargain. Those were like $100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I begged my mom. I can't believe she did this. My mom bought me Charizard and Blastoise. Guess what came in the mail? No. Tops trading cards. So not actually. And like, I'd no. play with friends and I'd be like, <clears throat> and I'd put it out. They'd be like, oh, what no. is this? You can't use this. I'm oh, like, it's no. Charizard. They're like, this isn't Charizard. This is some fake. No, yeah, please. Yeah. I paid money for this. <laughs> so much. No, I hated fake cards and you could always tell because the like, artwork was crap. It was just a Tops like, trading. Who wants that? Yeah, no one yeah. wanted that. Oh, that's, that's. They're the same oh, coming to make okay. baseball cards. And I was like, this is basically my baseball Derek Jeter the Charizard and they just feel wrong in your no. hand like it's just like I feel dirty yeah but yeah yeah I think I bought some like I went abroad and we bought some mm-hmm. and they were like some weird like foreign sort of non-legit cards but like they were cheap and I was just like these are great and then like what, so did you ever get any different language ones like, yeah 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 I got some French ones French people oh, have doo. really cool yeah Rondoudou Rondoudou um, and my favourite one is the um, D- Golduck. Golduck is called Aquaquack. Aquaquack. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Antoine told me that I was like my friend. He was just like, ah, uh, yes, it is uh, Aquaquack. <laughs> I was like, it's called what? <laughs> Aquaquack. It's called Aquaquack. Uh, I like G. I now have my uh, Pokemon Go to German, and so uh, what? Why? Because I have my whole phone in German because I'm trying to learn it more. Uh, and Geo Dude, no. which you know sounds like Geo is rocks yeah, and Dude is cool person, yeah. and German is Kleinstein. <laughs> Which is small rock. <laughs> Go, small rock! Just throwing rocks at him, mate. What are you Kleinstein. doing? Kleinstein. Kleinstein. That's cool. Or it could cute. be some like Jewish dad. Yeah, or it's like a smart guy. Einstein. Einstein. Einstein Kleinstein. I didn't even think of that. Okay. That's the pun. There's That's a German amazing. pun that I missed. Yeah, there's I'm like ashamed. I think there's like a There's rats for rats for rat I don't well. know, there's a video to be made in that of just like Just the different Pokemon names, yeah. What was so interesting for me with Pokemon Go is like in all of the promo stuff, I was just like, oh, I don't think this is going to catch on. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, I'm a big Pokemon fan. Oh, yeah. Like, but I was like, I'll download Pokemon. this. Yeah. But I was like, they're not going to convince people to... Because, like, genuinely, as, as a pitch, it's like, oh, yeah, it's a game, and how, how does it work? Oh, yeah, you know, it's going to be so fun. People are going to, like, toss? walk out of the house, and they're going to, like, walk around the streets. And, like, I would just be like, this is just not going to happen. Like, no. it's like nobody's going to do that. And, like, I, I really didn't have faith in it. Um and then the first month was just so good it was so cool like, every genuinely. one of my friends played it yeah, yeah. It, it was just like real Pokemon mm-hmm. again and so it'd be like do you want to hang out and play Pokemon I was like yeah yes yes let's, yeah. let's go get Pokemon people, people I like know who don't even like know Pokemon yeah, they don't even play Pokemon like my friend Raya uh, she just calls them the funniest things like right, Diglett right. was just dick and it's just <laughs> right, like right, right, okay like, she doesn't yeah, know what yeah, even yeah, is yeah yeah, yeah. But it was I so, like that. I like I that think, we all bonded over it instead of going yeah. like, oh, you're not a big a fa- as big a fan right, of it. Right. It was like, oh no, come on, join me on this yeah, adventure. Yeah. I think oh. what was so nice was that like, because it was only Generation 1, yeah. there was like a nostalgia element to it. You didn't feel like they were trying to push something new. Everyone knew good. them in yeah. some way. Mm-hmm. They recognized them. And like people who'd never played, like I know Bertie and Savannah like had never touched a Pokemon game in their lives mm-hmm. and they both played it. Like I don't know for how long, but like but, they really enjoyed it. Yeah. So like, I think there was something so nice and it was right in the summer and it was like just a perfect really, timing yeah, yeah like it just it felt so fun and like genuinely adventure and like uh yeah i i i, I loved it i really yeah. liked it i think there's a lot they needed to do yeah like i i'm yeah. surprised they still yeah. haven't introduced like trading or like trading or yeah. like um but it's nice as well because like people would have to work as a team essentially mm-hmm. like because it was like oh there's this thing let's go on on a hunt to go and find it yeah. but then the gyms were kind of competitive so i i was yeah. so impressed by it and what's more, what's even funnier is that for the longest time, I remember big po- like a lot of folk, like a big percentage of the fan base of Pokemon mm-hmm. were like, please make us a game 
a bit like Smash Bros, mm-hmm. but it's just Pokemon fighting each other. Oh, and right? that didn't work, did it? And then they made Pokken. And, like, people were so excited, like, at the idea of it. People were like, dude, finally, here it is. Yeah. Like, here's this game we've all been waiting for. And it just flopped. Yeah. Like, it, like, have you played it? No, I wasn't even interested. Okay. I saw it and I went, yeah. this looks like bad Smash Brothers. Yeah, it was. I played it, I played it once um, or twice. And, like, just both times I was like, mm. It's just rock, paper, scissors. Like, it's yeah. literally, that's all it was. I mean, Pokemon Go got, like, it was so good. Mm. And then it got worse. I mean, there were so many, like, issues with, like, the mm. servers and stuff. But my main thing was some of them were just so hard to get. And they kept mm. destroying all the map websites yeah. that made it fun again. And that's yeah. what annoyed me the most, yeah, yeah, was yeah. that they would take those away and they wouldn't replace it with yeah. actual yeah. tracking, which they had promised, yeah, or yeah. trading was, or something. That was a big mistake. I think Pokemon Go now is the best it's ever been. Because you can have yeah, a buddy, there's a slight which, tracking so you well. can kind of control that. Um, like the new tracking thing is really good. Mm-hmm. Like you can see what Pokestop it's at. I think they, I think they need to introduce something in game that talks a little bit about nests. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know how, because I like this idea that like word of mouth spreads and you hear that there's a nest. Like you watch the TV there. in someone's house, right. like in the original game. So. <laughs> right, right, yeah. and you like find out. Yeah, no, it's exactly that. Um, but I think they were spending so much time taking down these like tracking websites yeah. and so little time fixing their own servers that, that it was just issue. a bit like, well, I'm just frustrated. I have caught them all as well. You, including... Except Kangaskhan and the Japanese, and the Japanese and, one, Farfetch. Yeah, I think Gen 2 could definitely see like a big spike oh, in yeah. users happening again. Everyone would come back. Not everyone, but a lot of people would. I think a good If everyone would. does, then everyone plays because everyone's playing and yeah, it's fun yeah. again. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it has improved. And I think the thing is, when they know that Generation 2's come out, they may open it and be like, oh, they've like improved a lot of stuff that yeah. was wrong with it. Oh, the there's a buddy place. now, yeah. Yeah. I'm sort of hoping that the servers crash. <laughs> like, I want that time. I want that yeah. time back in my life where like even getting on the game was tricky. Oh, it was just so <laughs> difficult. You just go to the park and it would just not work. Yeah, it was so frustrating. So frustrating. Yeah, and you catch a Pokemon and be like, please mm. catch it or just die. It's dies. It's dead. It's gone <laughs> right, now. Right. It's run away or something. Glitch. Yeah, yeah. What is your favorite Pokemon? Is it lame to say Ditto? Yeah, it's lame. Mine's Jigglypuff, so I mean, a bit lamer, I guess. No, right? no, that's fine. My my, my three favourites are Dragonite, Tyranitar, Tyranitar and Weavile. I Weavile, really like Weavile. Okay. Um, I have Blossom, and then Jigglypuff and Tyranitar. Okay. I kind of developed a love... Like, there's a lot I like. There's a lot where I look at the design and I'm like, that's cool. Like, Kangaskhan is like a really cool Pokemon. I never liked Kangaskhan. What? Some lame friggin' kangaroo like wannabe. cool kangaroo dude. And I like Ursaring Whose favourite well. Pokemon is like... Tauros or Kangaskhan. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm a bull. I don't like even evolve. I like this little bull. Um, yeah, that's fair. I think uh, Ursaring is really cool as well, the big bear. Yeah, I and loved slacking. Like yeah, he's cool. Just because cool. no one expected you to use him professionally because yeah, yeah, yeah. he can only attack once per turn, other turn. Yeah, I mean, he, I believe, he's the, he's is the, the strongest non-legendary, non-legendary with the highest stats, but then it's then debatable whether that is true because he has to rest every well, other Well, you don't, basically, you just switch him out and then attack yeah, and then yeah, switch, yeah, leave yeah. him and then it yeah. doesn't matter anymore. So it's like, it's one of those things where he's a machine, like a really like, but there are limitations. Yeah. So you know you're playing with someone that knows how to play Pokemon when they put spikes yeah. or like, toxic uh, spikes. Toxic like, spikes, what's the rock one? Stealth, stealth rock. rock. Yeah, yeah. I, I immediately, I'm like, here we go, throwing out all that yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. it's always good to have a guy in like one of the second ones you use that has like rapid spin. Oh, yeah, to get just, rid of like, that. Gets rid of it, yeah. But I'm always like, is it going to be worth it? I don't think I play against professionals. Mm. I play against people that are just really good, uh, yeah. what's the word, scrubs? Right, right. Oh, I, I call myself, like, not in terms of Pokemon, but Smash, king mm. of casuals. I'm <laughs> definitely not professionals, but I'm king of casuals. I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Pokemon, though, I'm not the king. I'm just okay. I was pretty good. I used to play oh. a lot against, like... Uh... Did you ever play tournaments? No, not... not beca- like online tournaments. Oh, I played one in real life at a GameStop, okay. which is like your game yeah. store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they cheated on me and I lost those But it depends, because what's really tough is like, anything that's sort of made by Pokemon and is therefore official, mm-hmm. they almost don't want to acknowledge a lot of the flaws within their game. So they're like, yeah, just come on down. And then they'll be like, there are like 10 Pokemon that you can't use. It's a bit like in Pokemon Go, how like all the gyms are made up of like... 
Dragonite, Dragonite Rhydon, Snorlax, is... Snorlax, and like Lapras and Gyarados. Those are the best ones. And Eevee, I always throw my Gyarados and my yeah. Dragonite in. Because they're my highest CP, you know. Yeah. But it just becomes a bit boring, and then sometimes I felt like a Nine Tails, and I'm like, whew, exotic. Like, <laughs> thank you for yes. spilling the tea with me. Do we? I was gonna chink it. you as if like the like. You know, I just cheers with Ashley in the mm -hmm. future as well, so. That's fun. Good. Anyway, uh, if you like Sammy, you want to check out his channel. He does short films, so please do that. Link Thank will be you. in the description. Thank Very you for kind. watching. If you want to see more videos of mine, you can check the link over there. Thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Good, you did it. I hope you enjoyed the special. Tell me your thoughts about Pokemon. Tell me your thoughts about Pokemon. In the <laughs> Good.